Hello, and welcome to the box room. David Bradley here. So I've been continuing the process of getting things out of the car from the world of Commodore, presented by the Toronto Pet Users Group. I have a couple of bags here. I haven't looked in them. So I have no clue what they are. Oh. All right. This looks like a magazine without a magazine, but there's discs inside. It's called Amiga Animation. Best value. Three, three and a half inch discs. Your mind can be read by your Amiga on disc. A newer, better serial device. Interesting. I have never heard of this before. <clears throat> but it looks like it's got all kinds of stuff. It looks, perhaps... Um, oh, I thought it was going to say Brit. Anyway, it's fourteen ninety five U.S. eighteen ninety five Connecticut. Oh, huh. interesting. I suspect I'm going to find other such things in here. Amiga animation, three discs enclosed. Warning: the side up. Um, here. There's another one of these magical publications. That is, let's see what it says on the back. Amina, Amiga Animation. I've never heard of this. And I don't know how it... Oh. Oh. Reading glasses. When is this from? Issue 710. What is this? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Issue 8 6. I don't know when they were. Um, all kinds of stuff here. Um, on delete. To make a DOS and file system have to release some years ago. During the log period, CBM didn't release any kind of tool which would be able to check and repair disks and recover deleted files. There are many third-party utilities capable of doing such a job, but they're usually terribly slow and they don't support all standard file systems. Thus, undelete was born. Um, yeah. The Game of Ooze. Virus Clicker. In each issue, you'll find a new collection of clip art for all your desktop publishing and painting needs. Hot soundtrack and instrumental deluxe music and mint. I've heard people claim that with new soundboards, the IBM can play really some really good music. Well, they just haven't heard the Amiga yet. That's all there is to it. Crank up this tune, turn up your monitor volume, and invite all your PC invite all your PC friends over to have a listen. This will be sure to convince them. We have also included some instruments that were used to create the soundtrack. You can use these instruments with a new Deluxe Music Construction Set, or MED, or other sound tracker music. Cool. There are more. Amiga M Animation, Issue 7-9. There we have it. Oh, uh, yeah, clip art. Looks like, you know what? It really does look like people who decided we don't need to print a magazine. We can put it on disc. It's a lot cheaper than printing. So it doesn't just have um, animations. Oh, look, there's a video poker. poker. Ever wonder... If you can actually get ahead to the casino, so if you ever wanted to work your strategies without investing tons of money, now you can. This is a simulation of the video poker machines that can be seen to be the new and popular way of gambling. Now you can gamble for free. This can often times be much cheaper. Indeedy. Disk tools. Compare Dur tool. Duplicate file finder tool. Verify Dur tool. 
on budget 2.0a uh, borders. This is a collection of wonderful borders that you can add some flair to all of your desktop publishing applications. They're in IFF format, so you can also make use of them in your drawings, paintings, and for video titling. There's clip art. Oh yes, there's always... In each issue, we always include the latest virus killers and detectors. As you know, the best protection is prevention. And, yep, there's another hot soundtrack and instrument. I wonder if these things play. Now, here's the other thing, of course. These things have never been opened. The best of Amiga, issue 5.6. So, do I leave them sealed or not? And the answer is, I don't know. I don't know if these are highly prized in their unopened state. The best of Amiga, issue 4.9. Disc cell when all else fails. I just don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. So it looks like all kinds of stuff. Hot soundtrack. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Instant sounds. Wouldn't it be nice to have a process? Hang around to play any sound file. For you on demand instead of having to do all this mucking about with the audio device, etc. Oh, huh, yeah. Let's see what else is in this. Here we have Amiga Animation. Um, issue 7.8. Amiga diagno Diagnosis for what ails your Amiga. Sound effect. Complete sound editing tools for your Amiga. Diagnose exact exactly what ails your Amiga. Yeah, I did that, yes. Soundfest, a powerhouse sound editor with lots of gadgets and features, filters, and more. All on disk. Plus much, much more. Oh, yeah. And there is another one. Just like the other ones. Interesting. Oh, but we're not done. Amiga anim Animation, issue 8.1. Uh, database, multimedia, first contact. Time is money. Keep track of where your time goes in a day. So, much the same. No more unsuspecting disk crunches. Your last boring boot up. Your personal phone directory. Your first multimedia blackboard. A new system font. There's another. Never opened. Oh, once again, I'll have to research this. Okay, I think we're at the end of this bag. Hello, people. Hello, people. These things are, by nature, slippery. Very slippery. And here we have the best of the Amiga, finally. An file manager, personal organizer, a diamond digging adventure. <coughs> oh, now you can challenge your Amiga to a good game of full featured chess. I still wonder what years were these and what it doesn't say anything about which version. Um, oh, well, here's the first thing I've seen. Filer is an intu int intuition control file manager for OS 2.04 and above. Mm -hmm. Workbench stuff. Hot soundtrack. I think I'd like to check out the hot soundtracks. I think I would. Anyway, here. The best of Amiga. Now it feels... 
well, I don't know how many discs are in there. Anyway, this bag can go. It's actually this bag can go too. This is stuff that I, you know, it was got and never really explored. So much so that this bag, this one I'm just going to go into now, is almost the plastic is kind of falling apart and degrading. All right, let's see here. What is in here? Okay. Yeah, this bag can go in this other bag, which is in the other bag. That can all go away. So, we have... Oh, no. More lemmings. 100 levels. Add-on version. Requires original lemmings disc. Also available as a standalone version. Lemmings was a great game. You'd have these little dudes, or dudettes, and they would go places, and they would just follow along, follow along, follow along, follow along. Um, kind of like some people are blindly follow some, you know, politician people. And anyway, all kinds of things, all kinds of um, different places they have to go, and you have to figure out how to make sure that they don't perish along the way. You do, and it is not easy. It takes strategy, cunning, and all that, and I wish when they put this in, they had put in the original Lemmings disc, too, because I, somewhere I probably have it. So anyway, I can't really check this out. It, too, has never been opened. What is this? There's a sheet here. The Creative Magic of Ron Thornton. Computer generated imagery with Lightwave 3D. Take a private lesson in 3D animation from a special effects wizard known for his Emmy Award winning CGI effects in the popular television program Babylon 5. Aha! Interesting. So this, there are videos. They are. This is the fellow who did magical things on Babylon 5. And if you were at or have you seen, there was a there were a couple of people from Babylon 5 who did little video uh, intros for the World of Commodore show. Wow, I did not know this. Each video is $49.95. And... Yeah, the creative magic of Ron Thornton. I never knew. All right, what do we have here? Disc Salve version 3, commercial release by Dave Haney. Amiga people should know that name. Disc Salve, copyright 1991, 1994, all rights reserved. Salvage, undelete, repair, unformat, check, backup, cleanup. Store copy, it says. And it's in... Just folded up packaging here. Caution, floppy disk enclosed. Do not bend or fold. It is kind of stuck. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, so what's happened is it, there's. Oh, I see. Oh dear. Oh dear. The mailer. Oh, damn it. The mailer and the thing. Oh no. Yep. Okay, so the mailer that this might be mailed in and the disc have come in contact, and there's just, in trying to get it out, off came the door. Great. And it's really, it's, there's no, there's no help in, in that. So here, is a wonderful, beautiful example of an original dip. Oh, and there's slime on this. That's the thing that goes round and round. Oh, dear. It's kind of like... Well, it's... Okay, the mailer, so you didn't have to lick it, had glue. On TV shows, I've seen stuff like this. 
for putting like license plates that don't belong on cars on cars for scenes. It's called snot. It comes off easily. This stuff does not come off easily. I don't know if it will interfere with the spinning of the disc. It's not really in a bad, bad spot, but it's there. Oh. Anyway, here's the good side of it. It is. It is indeed. Anyway, the mailer is the trouble here. Oh well, it's probably only been stuck on there for like 30, 40 years. So the mail, oh yeah. Ah, no, 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 no. Things are falling. So here is the disc door. There it is. It's slimed. It's ruined. It's bent. It's screwed. And here is the disc mail like that. You know what? I'll just ah, take it down. I'll put it in this bag. It can go away. Go away. As can this. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I will have to keep that disc safe. And who knows, maybe it will work, maybe it will not. <coughs> okay, these things are notoriously slippery. Very slippery. I would really like if I turn this on. Find the power switch. I would really like the hard drive to come to life. I don't know exactly when it, it actually tries to start up. No, after all that. No. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. All right, well, we'll go off the disk. Anyway, there's one other thing in here. Aha. Still in the original packaging. Light Room 3. Oh. What do we got there? We don't need all that reflection. Light room three. And it says, oh, I got some. Oh dear. I have things on the keyboard. What is this crap? Hello. Go away. Come back again. Um, I'll reboot that. I'll put that up there. All right. What is this? White ROM 3 is the most ambitious issue to date, consisting of three CD ROMs. ROM 1 is filled with thousands of light wave objects and scene files, building upon previous versions. ROM 2 contains huge collections of 3D objects in different file formats, including image. 175 megs, 3D Studio, 100 megs, Gulp, 30 megs, Scale 3D, 7 megs, um, ROM number 2, oh, you know what, if I leave the disk in there, it's going to boot anyway, maybe the disk drive did anyway, so this is all dandy, um, Dandy, dandy, dandy. There's CD, three CD, three ROM, three CD ROM set. It is a magical thing. Now, I don't believe that I have a CD ROM thing for this. This came out in, well, 1995. Oh. Software is readable on all kinds of things. I'm going to take that out of there just for fun. 
I'm going to stick the disk solid disk in and see if it comes up. I think it's bad. Oh, isn't that ironic? Bad. But once again, I'm not so sure I've been trusting the disk drive. Bad. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Well, who knows? Maybe it's available online somewhere. Anyway, this is copyright 1995 graphic detail from Louisville, Kentucky. CD-ROM is fully compliant with the ISO 9660 level one standard and with the appropriate system software and is readable on Windows, NT, Mac, Amiga, and Unix systems. The CD-ROM set copyright 1995. The compilation is a this copyright 1995. Oh yeah, white ROM registered trademark. Dem ROM. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bonus CT can run over a hundred, a thousand digital elevation maps for use with Vista Pro, Cedar Animator, and World Construction Set on any platform. Wow. Interesting. It is. I'm not sure what to do with it. And of course, now I end up with, of all things, a disk salvage system with a bad disk. Anyway, I took the. the the, drive, the disk out of the drive to see if the hard drive actually is functioning. Because if you leave the disk in, it will opt for the floppy. So I took it out. And I think it's going to say no. Yeah, it's not. Well, let me just take a moment to plug in my... I've been swapping between microphone sets here. I don't think the sound is any better or worse with them. And I should pop on the charger so they can charge and do their magic. This is, of course, the critical thing here. That, if you don't have that, you got nothing. Oh, workbench. Workbench. Well, it's funny. I think I just heard what sounded like a hard drive noise. I think I've got to take this board out and see what I can do with it. I think. Let's see if that makes that screen look at it. Oh, there. Well, kind of, sort of. Oh dear. So I am wondering about a many, many, many things here for one thing. Uh, these things here. Are people after them? Are they all available online? Load. This issue, oh, three, this is uh, issue 4.8. Hot soundtrack. I wonder if I am to be brave enough to open one of these. First of all, are the discs going to work? I don't know. Best value 8.6. You know what? I will ponder this. I will ponder this. I will. Yeah. 
that is disturbing. Anyway, before I forget about this, here is the info sheet on Ron Thornton. That is impressive. I suspect it might have been laid out. Golly, perhaps on an Amiga. Let's get a closer look at the man and some of his magical Babylon 5 creations. All right. Well, I think it's what I think it's. It's time to turn that off and, uh, and ponder my next move. So thanks for coming. We'll see you again soon. From the box room, David Bradley signing off.